Yeah, it's, it's working. All right. Hello. Um, as you can probably see, my screen is backwards. Yeah, I don't have a capture card because I'm not one of those rich people. So you guys are just going to have to deal with it. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Um, this is Smash Brothers Brawl for all you illiterate people out there. Um, this is kind of just a mock playthrough. I'm not even going to be playing the the main story. I'm just going to be trying out the just to see how well I like this and how well I enjoy doing this. I watch several LPs on YouTube daily and I really enjoy it and uh, one of my favorites right now is uh, some guy who's doing uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, I'm not sure if he'll be watching this but he's a really cool person and hopefully he does. So um, let's get started. Enjoy the backwardsness of this because I know you all enjoy that. Um, I will be using Ice Climbers. That is me right there. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's me. Mm. What I never really understood about this game is the fact that the Ice Climbers, one has to be a boy, one has to be a girl. Like, why can't it be two guys? Because girls aren't as strong. Yeah, and uh, so my opponents, I'm going to be choosing Falco because one of my good friends, Scott, is a freaking genius mastermind with him. And I will also be using Ness with his cute little purple shirt with Mr. Saturn on it because Mr. Saturn's like the coolest thing since sliced bread, you know? I mean, that's just the, the, the stuff right there. And then I'll be using Pit for uh, Gordy. Uh, Gordy's Canadian, so I don't know why he's not using Red Pit. Uh, that, yeah, that's awkward. And uh, five, five man survival, and the only item I have on is the Smash Ball because how else would it be fun? And uh, you'll be recognizing me as Guy. My name is Guy. So, uh, yeah. And Final Destination, of course. So, let's see. Today is the... Today is the 24th? Oh, no, wait, no. Today's not the 24th, because there's something better than 24. 25! Yeah, a little humor there. Um, I love the mechanics of this game, I've got to say. This is by far one of the best games I've ever played, and uh, as you can see, I don't like to hit my target. And uh, But yeah, this is an excellent game, and I just killed myself, so... You know, all you people watching at home are thinking like, haha, he's a loser, why is he doing this? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I got bored, and I've got nothing else to do. And I just made an iceberg. So stick that in a juice box, and do this. Uh, there's not really a whole lot to explain about this game, because, I mean, if you haven't played it, then why the heck are you watching this? Uh, you know, just because... I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I thought this was going to be a lot easier, but as... Of course, I'm running out of commentary, and uh, because I'm not a very cool person, and I do not have an enjoyable social life. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, is there anything to rant about? Uh, let's see, my English teacher, big big shout out to her. You know, she's she sucks. Um, there's nothing really to explain about her. She teaches for 10 seconds of the class, and then she decides to hand out, like, three pages of homework, and she just talks to her cheerleaders all period and makes us do book work, which is pretty much pointless since she doesn't teach us anything. And I think that's how she gets away with making money for doing nothing. So congratulations to her. She keeps up the good work. She's going to have a nice bonus, you know, bonus of I wish she would go home or away. Uh, take that, Corby. Hee, hee, hee. Uh... You know, uh, school can be a drag, I have to say. Um, this is kind of a nice way to get away, and, uh, you know, it really brings, uh, joy into my life. I have no joy. I have zero tolerance for anything. And, uh, you know, it's just, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm a very happy person. Most people that know me understand that I never really am sad. And what's the point of being sad? A day without laughter is a day wasted. Quote by some French, French, free, European loser, I don't know. Whoever said it, thank you. And, uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. 
Wow, I'm getting my butt kicked. Okay. Uh, my friend Scott is as well doing an LP about this, and uh, hopefully he'll get to we'll get to guest commentate on that. Me and my buddy Jaron, as well as uh, my friend Chad, who is I mean these these guys are awesome. I mean I eat lunch with them every day. We you know we talk about the stupidest things, and uh, you know oh man, uh, yeah I mean. What other, what best, what better way to, shoot, what better way to spend high school than to just sit around and screw it, screw around with your friends, not screw with your friends, screw around, haha, -ha. everybody's gonna be commenting on this, like, oh, he's gay, lol, smiley face, jk, you're cool, all that jazz, uh, yeah, I will probably delete commenting because I hate all of you troll lolololols out there, yeah, um, don't mess with me, I am a, uh, 230 pound black dude, and I am the varsity defense man, defensive line, and I'm also the wrestling state champion, so it'd probably be good to not mess with me, and uh, we should be getting along fine. And as you can see, I just got another iceberg. I don't see myself really losing this match anymore, especially since everybody's down to one life, including myself, and I would like to get rid of Ness or Pitt first and say Falco for last because my friends know why. It's always been a lifelong dream to kill the Falco and win against the Falco. Yeah. Oh, and Falco just obliterated everybody and I'm next. Oh, dang. Uh. Let's see. Um. I, I want to concentrate right now. Um, let's see. Um, so yeah, uh, what about that, that Packers game yesterday? Uh, I guess, not yesterday, for you people watching this. This will, That would be on the 24th. Uh, the replacement refs, to me, and I won! Yay! I never win! The replacement refs, uh, really suck, and I hope that the, the real refs come back soon, because... This is, it's just getting ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. These guys have been absolutely horrible. They've been a nightmare. And um, obviously a lot of Green Green Bay people were really pissed about it. And uh, one of the players on Green Bay actually was tweeting about the game the, uh, the night that it happened. And uh, he was writing a lot of words that we shouldn't be using in public and stuff like that on Twitter, talking about how, like, the rest suck and stuff, and apparently, wow, I have to be Sonic, are you serious? And uh, apparently it was the most retweeted tweet that has ever happened on uh, Twitter, and it got like about 700, I mean, not 700, my bad, uh, 77,000 retweets, which is pretty amazing, considering all the followers that people like Cristiano Ronaldo have, uh, yeah, he's a soccer guy, for those of you that don't know, but he's also a loser, because uh, soccer sucks, and uh it's just kind of surprising that that even had to occur. And uh, I saw the day that the, the NFL apologized for it and talked about how, like, they mis they misread the call and, like, oh, it's, we're sorry. And, but there's not really anything they can do to fix it now. So it's kind of pointless to even be apologizing about it in the first place. I think they should just drop it and give the refs their salutary whatever that they need to get back in and make the game better. Because, quite frankly, I'm getting sick of it. And I know most of America is because of such the, the fan base on Twitter and apps like iFunny where every other picture was about the game last night, which was kind of annoying, even though some of them were really good. Like, if you know the, the hello, this is dog meme, I like that one. There was a, one that said, hello, this is dog, I can referee. And, uh... Many people commented about how the dog would be better. The dog would be a whole lot better in that situation, and I just killed myself because I was trying to fix my camera, of course. But, uh, you know, the dog, you know, he's a cute guy. Not gonna lie. And all of our you suck. Uh, but um, I think that it's a serious matter that they need to get fixed, and uh, this is kind of like a rant, I guess, for me. I don't know. I have never really done something like this. I thought it was going to be a whole lot easier than it actually is, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of hard to sit here and talk for like 10 minutes already. 
and my, my throat is dry and I'm not even concentrating, obviously, because Olimar's winning, which shouldn't be happening at all, because Olimar is Olimar. And uh, my favorite pigment is the red one. We call him Steve. Shout out to Chug Conroy and all that jazz. You know the runaway guys. You should really check those guys out. Those guys are hilarious. I wish I was as funny as they were and comfortable in front of the camera as much as they were because I would be just about as funny as them. And uh, to be that famous, I mean, a bunch of uh, Nintendo Capri Sun, uh, Tim has about uh, five or six videos with a million a million views, and I think he's got about 300,000 subscribers, which is out of this world. And I know that he quit his job to just focus on the YouTube thing because of all the money. And I, he quit his job at a donut factory where he would rant about for days on his videos and I know that that was a huge struggle for him because he'd be waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning or oh, a.m. in the morning you are such a dunce and uh, he would be going to his job and you know that's I mean that's not something that you would want to do you wouldn't want to wake up at 4 a.m. just to go make donuts and make people happy just so that they could have breakfast because you would be, you'd be sleeping by the time they're eating breakfast and you know it's just it's ridiculous and it's a whole complicated story and why haven't I died yet who knows? And there, there you go. Thank you, DK. Thank you so much. But, you know, yeah, I mean, he's he's been like an inspiration to me, to be honest. I mean, he's probably one of the greatest YouTubers I've watched. And, uh, you know, he's turned his life around for the better, I believe. He, uh, he was a smoker in the 2009 on, like, the, I think it was my birthday in 2009 where he decided to quit smoking and he's been smoke free for three years now and he said that his life has been a whole lot better because of it he says probably the greatest decision he's ever made and you know he's just a real inspiration to, to kids like me well not kids because i'm 16 i go to high school look at me but you know he's just he's just a real inspiration i've i've always ever since i've watched his videos i've looked up to him he's a great person. His personality is great. I mean, he would probably get along with anybody. Uh, he's just, he's just an awesome guy. And uh, yeah, so I mean, if you guys, if you guys do uh, Nintendo Capri Sun, go watch his videos on YouTube. He's a great, he's a great guy. I don't know. He's just really cool. And uh, yeah, so getting back to this, we're about ready to pummel Olimar to a little pulp right here. There's nothing really much left for me to do except to kill him and I'm stuck dude really dude oh that was pointless okay so this video just got like two minutes longer now because it'll take me a while to kill him because he's just a loser I go too fast I can't even control my movements and it just becomes a whole oh thank you Let's just get back into the swing of this um Actually, if anybody's ever played Pikmin, I'd like to know how it is, because I've been actually really curious about the whole gameplay thing. I, I think it's like a strategy game where you have to use the Pikmin to do, uh, not the Pikmin, okay, really? Talk. Uh, you use the Pikmin to, like, accomplish tasks, and each Pikmin does something different. And, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's for the Wii, I think it's Pikmin 2, but I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I've heard good things about it, and I'd like to know more about it. So, uh, if you do know anything, please let me know. And look at that, 9 and 3. Uh, Sonic sucks anyway. Uh, you know, I like this game. Um, I'm probably going to post this on the, the Wii Codes page show. Shout out to Scott, Jaren, Gordy, Chad, Chadular Beller, Scotty G, Jaren, and Swag Daddy J. All that jazz. Uh, anybody else? Megan? If she talks to me, I don't know. Uh, who else is there? Uh, I guess I could shout out to Riley. I'm not sure how he would feel about that. But, uh, yeah. That about sums it up. So, thanks for watching. You guys rock. You know, thanks.